Y'all, I got scent mail. If y'all want to see the sample perfumes that I was sent graciously by a wonderful, thoughtful, generous subscriber, keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Lauren, AKA Los So Natural. When I was going away to Mass and Nutten about two weeks ago and happened to go to my DMs, and y'all know on Instagram how you have your main DMs, you have like a general section, and then you have requests. I believe I had to go into my request to see the DM. And it was from a woman named Crystal. Hey, Crystal. She sent me a message saying that she wanted to send me sample perfumes from her collection because she really enjoyed my YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yes, I would love that. First and foremost, Crystal, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you so much because you didn't have to do it. Y'all, she packaged up this package oh so nice, okay? Y'all, I hope I was holding the microphone the right way. When I tell y'all I was thoroughly surprised and impressed by everything she sent me, she sent me a lot, y'all. She sent me a full size of the Baroque Rouge Extrait by me in Alhambra, which is under the top of that is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge Trap Woody Extrait. And I've talked about that scent. So if you want to check out my battle of the Baccarats, go check that video out. First scent we want to really get into is she sent me this joe malone this is the mimosa and cardamom cologne i am familiar with this fragrance because i purchased a dawkins aroma company mimosa and cardamom body powder which i hadn't really talked about a lot but y'all this smells identical to the body powder and i like this fragrance I have actually worn this one day. So this was a perfume in her collection and she sent me what was left to me. This is a powdery, semi-sweet. It's like a comforting fragrance. Like you smell it. And if you notice know scent, it's, it's like you know it. Just like you know baby powder, you know mimosa and cardamom when you smell it. It's like a more warm, slightly spicier version of a baby powder scent, in my opinion. It's okay. Don't be fussy. Ooh. Ooh. What were you drinking and eating? You sound like you had some soda. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Huh? You wanna say hi? Say hi. Hi. Say my, my name, name is e? Layla. 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 Dopa. You want that one? Okay, give me a second. Y'all, if you see the disco lights, that is my way of entertaining Layla right now. So, again, mimosa and cardamom it smells good. It's a fresh, warm, spicy, powdery scent. And I like it. I would rate it seven and a half, 7.5 out 
out of 10. On to the next one. We're on to the next one. Okay. Since we just did Jo Malone, we're going to go into these samples. She sent me, let's see, four more Jo Malone samples. We'll start off with this one. This is a pomegranate noir. Now I have sprayed all of these other Jo Malone fragrances just on the paper the sample came in. Pomegranate Noir has the top notes of pomegranate, the heart notes of Casablanca Lily, and the base of Gayak Wood. This to me is strong. It leans a little bit more masculine, though I can see it being unisex. <sighs> okay, but I was moving around, so pray for me, okay? Send your virtual prayers. This kind of is spicy to me. The description says, daring sensuality encapsulated in scent, seductive, intense, enigmatic. I feel like this is definitely a fall and winter scent. For me and my personal preference, I would not need a full size of this, but I think this is a fragrance I could layer. You good, good. What would I layer with this? My Ambery Cherry by Dossier, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I would layer this with Zara's Ebony Wood, which is also a Zara and Jo Malone collab. So, yeah. I like it. I would rate it like a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have a fragrance I have smelled before and I love. This is Jo Malone's Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. This has the top notes of Ambrette Seeds. The heart notes of Sea Salt, it says, Escape the everyday along the windswept shore and wrapping Sea Salt Fresh Spirited. You can wear this all year round. This is another one I feel like is perfectly unisex. It's something about wood, sage, and sea salt I really like. But in general, this is not the scent profile that I typically gravitate toward, though I love this fragrance. I would rate this like eight out of 10. Solid eight. Solidate. This is English Pear and Sweet Pea. Let's spray this one again. And y'all, when I first smelled these, it was sometime last week. So it's been a while, so I am reminding myself. I like this. This is feminine. The fragrance notes on the top is... William Pear, the heart is Sweet Pea, and the base is White Musk. This is described as a light floral. Tempting green pears enveloped in softly scented pastel sweet peas. Layla. <sighs> Y'all, I'm frustrated. It is described as luscious, pastel, and garden fresh. This gives spring, springtime, for sure. This is another fragrance that reminds me of Easter Sunday. Like you putting on your Sunday's best. You got your church hat. 
Monday's best. Last but not least is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. The top notes are Cassis or Cassis. The heart is Acacia Honey and the base is Peach. This one. It's something I like about it and it's something I don't like. I like the peach, but I don't like, I'm guessing it's the Cassis, Cassis. It's like this green, almost grassy scent. The peach is peaching. It's giving peach more tart than sweet. And that honey. It's reminding me of like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret for whatever reason. I'm going to wear this sample, but I don't think I would need this in a full size. But I always appreciate fragrances that are unlike fragrances that I have in my collection. I don't have any perfumes that smell like this, so I appreciate it. This is the London's Covent Garden Early Morning Market. It's succulent, sweet, and playful. It's definitely succulent, for sure. Next, I was sent a BDK sample. This is the scent Passe Soir, and I actually had sprayed this on my skin the day I opened this box. I could not resist. This is one of the samples I had to try that day. So what I'm gonna do is spray this on my skin to remind myself. Oops, I sprayed it the wrong way. Not me spraying my sample on my hand, the inside, the palm of my hand. Okay. I personally love this fragrance. When I smelt it, I got pear. It was reminiscent of Bath and Body Works Poppy. But then when I looked up the fragrance notes, I 100% got the notes that were listed. I think there was like a mandarin, maybe like a, a pepper or something like that. Layla. It smells good to me. My mom smelled it and really enjoyed it. I rate this 9.5 out of 10. I could definitely see myself using up this sample with no problem. You could supersize me on this one. I really, really like it. BDK, if you ever come across my humble YouTube channel and you want to sponsor a video, you want to send me Passe Soir to do a full review? I got you. No, I really like this. I really, really like this. Passe Soir is giving to me. I personally could wear this fragrance anytime, though. I don't know, like I feel like it's more of a spring and summer scent, but I think this would do well in cooler weather too. Like I can imagine smelling this in the breeze. This is a fragrance I probably wouldn't even layer because to me it's already very dynamic. And I think it's like bomb the way it is. 
I feel like this is a fragrance. If you layer it wrong, it could go wrong real quick. But I think you could layer this with like Poppy. I know Poppy is said to be a dupe for Marc Jacobs Perfect, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that, so I cannot tell you. So maybe Marc Jacobs Perfect and Passe Soir could be a fire combo. I don't know. But I guess I probably could layer this with Poppy. Just the FYI. Y'all, I'm trying. I really, really try. Like, I really want to get this video done because I was sent this package two, two and a half weeks ago. And it's like every day I'm like, I want to get this video out. I want to get this video done. And something always comes up. So I want to get it done. But, you know, I don't feel like my videos have to be perfect, but it's like, I hate stopping and starting and all right i'm gonna keep it pushing and see how many i can get through not to mention i did not even tell y'all how makeshift my setup is y'all probably can tell i'm standing up because i'm moving around and i have my phone propped up on a lamp because that's what i'm working with right now It's giving, if there's a will, there is a way. I keep Layla from knocking the lamp over so my phone doesn't go tumbling. I already did that to myself one time already. Almost thought I broke my adapter piece for my microphone because the tumble was that crazy. Take number 2,578. Next is a perfume i could not wait to smell crystal oh crystal where for out thou crystal Shh. how did you know this was probably the number one fragrance on my list that i feel like i needed to get my nose on that I have been wanting to smell for months, that I have not gotten around to smelling. The fragrance is none other than Kay Ali's Vanilla Royale Sugar. Layla. Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. I can still smell the fragrance on here. I sprayed it on here about a week and a half ago and I also sprayed it on my hand. And then Layla's burping. Okay, y'all. Okay. The main fragrance notes that they have listed are Vanilla Sir Absolute Golden. Layla, please. Vanilla Sir Absolute, Golden Rum, Creme Brulee, Brown Sugar, Royal Oud, and Sugared Patchouli. Y'all, I am having a time. Okay. If y'all can't tell, it is another day. I gave up yesterday and said, Lord, please let me finish this video in peace. And if y'all could have seen the struggle I was just going through to set up my phone in my car, I was about to give up again on this video. Even though this has been like the most exciting video I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I'm gonna push through. I'm in the car because I just wanted some peace. I just wanted some peace. 
and no interruptions so that is why i'm in the car so i left off yesterday talking about vanilla royale sugar patchouli so i actually sprayed this on my hand this morning as well as i sprayed it when i first opened the box and i'm gonna spray it on this piece of paper I have to be honest when I first smelled this I don't know why but it was nothing like what I really had expected it to smell like at first sniff like the first point two seconds I'm like this is patchouli heavy it's giving unisex almost a little masculine like it just hit me like, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting more vanilla, less patchouli. Like, I knew it was going to be patchouli, but I thought it was going to be creamier. But, y'all, I really love this fragrance. And especially the dry down. The dry down, it gets sweeter on my skin. I really love the fragrance. Just let it sit for, you know, five minutes, and I already love it. I pick up on the vanilla, I pick up on the rum, you get the oud, you get the patchouli. After it dries down, you definitely get the creme brulee and the brown sugar. I would enjoy a full size of vanilla royale sugar patchouli. This is 10 out of 10. This is up my alley. I'm going to enjoy wearing this this fall. It's just a sample, but I'm going to make it do what it needs to do. I'm going to make it stretch. And honestly, for me, just spraying it on my hand, on the outside of my hand, I still get whiffs of it in my nose. So I really enjoy this fragrance. I know I'm late, but better late than never. Do y'all like Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli? I actually want to layer this with the Wedding Silk Sands Haul. And I want to layer it with my Fragrant Body Oils, Yam Pistachio Gelato Perfume Oil. Just because I'm extra like that. Like, I want to layer it with the Random Scents. Like, I want to layer this with Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper because why not? I have the fragrant body oils half dram sample of sweet diamond pink pepper so i'm gonna try all those layering combos and let y'all know what it's hitting for what they're hitting for okay next up i'm gonna get into this fragrance miss crystal sent me the la top of pride i think it's pronounced a fuck a fuck I'm usually good with you know getting close try my best but y'all pronounce that and let me know so this is a 20 milliliter sample i smell this on my skin this is another fragrance the day i opened a box i said let me try it i love this sample okay i'm gonna spray it out on paper i already know what it reminded me of like instantly I smelled it and was like, I know this fragrance. Yes. This, I'm saying based on my nose, I have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but this smells identical to my Jaffa perfume by Oza Rige. That is the perfume I always say is really hard to find. Like you can Google Jaffa by Oza Reed and you're not going to find a website well I haven't been able to find a website that is currently selling it I have come across a seller that sells samples on I think it was Etsy but if you want to know what Jaffa by Oza Reed smells like get Latafa Pride's a fuck this looks like a perfume oil by this bottle I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that's what it looks like. This smells identical to it. 
And if you aren't familiar with Jaffa, which I'm sure a lot of you are not, I would say it's in the same vein as Fakar. Not exact, but Fakar would be the closest fragrance in my collection to Jaffa. So I like this. I would rate it like... 9 out of 10. Like, it smells good. To me, it gives fruity, floral. Extra fruity, though. It gives spring and summertime. And it's definitely feminine, for sure. Slightly mature. So, that is this fragrance okay next up is another box of samples y'all look look at that look look at that she sent me so many y'all bless me so thankful now i will tell y'all which ones i have smelled already all right I couldn't resist. I smelled Kayali's Vanilla Utopia 21. I definitely have smelled that. I smelled the Kayali Young Pistachio Gelato 33 because I couldn't resist. I'm like, does fragrant body oils, perfume oils smell identical like I hear it does? and it does and i'm gonna go through these fragrances just give me a second but i just want to let y'all know which ones i've smelled i smelled bond number nine's greenwich village and i have some feelings about this one and i smelled the Mula Mula Rouge Extreme by Byron Parfums. Smell this one. And I smell this perfume. This is the only one that had a casualty when it came to the label. The words um, got washed away in transit. And the crazy thing is, the first day when I opened it, it kind of already was faded, but there was still letters. And I should have um, wrote down the letters that I could make out because now there's nothing. So I'm not sure what this is, but I have sprayed it on me. So I'm gonna start off with this one because I don't know what it is. I sprayed it on me and it smells good. To me, if I remember correctly, Hmm, girl, let me just spray it. Let me spray it on this piece of paper. This one has a subtle aroma. It's not... It's given silent but deadly. It smells good, but it's hard for me to determine what I'm smelling. I almost get slight green, maybe even a little bit of spice. And if I'm picking up on florals, it's like light, light, light floral, not heavy. It's hard to determine what I'm smelling because it's not super creamy. It's not super woody. It's giving more unisex vibes than super feminine or even super masculine. I don't know what this is. Only Crystal can let us know what it is. 
and hopefully by process of elimination she could probably tell us what this is but this is the mysterious perfume i would rate it i rate it an eight out of ten like it smells good but it's kind of tripping me up that i don't know what i'm smelling and i can't tell you what i'm smelling and even by smelling it i don't even know like i don't even know what i'm picking up okay so that is mysterious perfume number one next up we're gonna go to k ali's vanilla coco utopia 21 this i sprayed the day i opened a box and then i sprayed it again a couple days ago and i had two different experiences the first day it was like i smell it a little bit but it's not super strong it's just okay i'm not the biggest fan of coconut fragrances but i do like vanilla but then when i sprayed it on my skin the second time hopefully y'all don't hear those birds but um i sprayed it the second time and i liked it more it was giving more creamy the coconut was coming through more it was giving something that would be really good layering like i 100 percent would layer vanilla coco utopia with yum pistachio gelato This would probably be fire with the Wedding Silk Santal. I would layer this with my other Coconut Fragrances by Bath & Body Works. This would probably be good with like Charosa 62. I have the Dawkins Aroma Company Extra Day Parfum inspired scent sunset glow i would layer with this which is salted caramel and pistachio i feel like that would be good with this i like it i like it i would rate it eight out of ten solid eight solid eight now on to yum pistachio gelato 33 y'all this is a hit the only difference that i can tell with the perfume versus the perfume oil is in the initial spray i get the scent that i get from the perfume oil but in this perfume it's like a tartness that kicks a little stronger and it's like sharp it's giving more lime ish it's definitely giving like lime and i get a citrusy note in the perfume oil but it's not as sharp as this but i would say that the perfume oil smells 98.9 percent exact it's just in that initial spray, I'm getting everything I get from the perfume oil with a dash of lime juice or lime zest. And I like it. Full size me. I definitely would enjoy the K. Ali Passaccio, Yum Passaccio Gelato in a full size. Yes. 10 out of 10 highly recommend now i know this scent will not be for everybody this scent would be for if you like gourmand citrusy creamy perfumes i said that this should be called green sugar if you're familiar with aqualina's pink sugar to me this is what green sugar would smell like okay all right okay 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 now we are going to get into bond number nine's green witch village and this is a fragrance that i have known about 
I've never smelled it up until when I sprayed it when I opened up this package. But y'all, I sprayed it on my skin and was like, what does this smell like? This reminds me of something. And I could not pinpoint what it was. I kept smelling my arm like, I've smelled this before. This reminds me of a fragrance in my collection. And for whatever reason, my nose was not picking up what it smelled like. I'm like, what is it? I've smelled this before. I have this perfume. Like, I have something. I'm like, is it a fragrance mist? Is it a perfume that I have? Like, what is it? And so, I went to Fragrantica and I pulled up the fragrance notes and was trying to figure out, like, what does this remind me of? Still couldn't figure it out. And then I scrolled down to the fragrances that people said it reminded them of and Burberry her I don't know why I could not figure it out but it really really reminds me of Burberry her like they're fraternal twins at this point fraternal twins I feel like these have the same DNA. I just think Burberry Her, y'all you know, keep dropping this piece of paper. Burberry Her is a little bit more berry like at the top. Like it smells like berry. Whereas this one just smells like Burberry Her, just not as berry as Burberry Her. That's the best way I can explain it. I like it. I would say this is 9 out of 10. Like, I could stand to have Ball Number 9's Greenwich Village in my collection. I think it's unisex. But me, I 100% will wear it yeah yes 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 i would y'all i really wanted to tell y'all the fragrance notes but i kind of moved away from the house so i'm not going to be able to um use fragrantica on my ipad so what i'm going to do is on these upcoming fragrances drop the fragrance notes to see if um what i'm smelling is accurate and whatnot and that's what we're gonna do i did smell moolah moolah rouge extreme by byron parfums and this i enjoyed this has a almost like a smoky woody aroma when you first smell it but there is some sweetness to it. I do remember picking up like a caramel scent on my skin. This is giving fall and winter, like a cold weather fragrance. This actually reminds me of Kay Ali's vanilla royale sugar patchouli a little bit i'm not saying they smell exact but just how that patchouli hit me strong in the opening and it gave almost a unisex vibe this is what moolah moolah rouge extreme is giving it's giving that same vibe where there is sweetness but there also is some depth and strength to it this i like i don't feel like this is an everyday fragrance this is more like special occasion going out nighttime like i don't think this is a daytime scent in my opinion this is something i will wear out at night in the cool weather i like it though 
I would say this is like 7.5 out of 10. Like if somebody gave me the perfume, I would be appreciative, but I don't know if I will go out my way to buy it. But on the other hand, I like it. And I don't have any perfumes in my collection to really compare it to. So yeah, that's Moolah Moolah Rouge Extreme. Next up are the perfumes I have not yet smelled i have not smelled any of these prior to now so this is exciting i'm over here getting me some more strips of paper to test on we have five more fragrances to go and i'm excited i hope you all are excited too i hope y'all are having a good day because I've been struggling a little bit today and not even going to lie. But it's all good. It's all good. Okay. First, we're going to start off with Twilly Ginger. What does this smell like? And these are all taped up so nicely. I didn't even like mention that. It's giving, we wanted to make it here safely. Okay, that was a great spray. Ooh, that hit my nose already. And it smells like ginger. Like, you can't miss it. That's what it smells like. No wonder it's not called like, ginger ginger and roses ginger and tea like no this smells like ginger fresh ginger if you've ever gone to the store got you some ginger and cut it up that's what it's hitting on me i like the smell of ginger but this i probably would have to layer what would i layer this with Bath and Body Works white tea and ginger, even though I don't personally have that, my mom has it. I would layer this with probably something like Gentle Fluidity Gold. I would layer this with my Princeless Princess perfume, which is inspired by Killian's Princess. And I guess anything else I would wanna spice up. This is not an offensive ginger it's like just ginger so if you like ginger this one is for you i would rate it six out of ten only because it's a fragrance i would not wear by itself i don't think i guess i could spray it on me to see if i like it but i kind of already have a fragrance on me right now so i'm gonna have to update y'all on this give y'all update because yeah not bad it just smells like ginger but if that's your thing go ahead and get that one i like it though it's pleasant next is tom ford's lost cherry the crazy thing is i have a tom ford lost cherry perfume oil i have ambery cherry which is the dossier dupe for the scent but i've never smelled tom ford's lost cherry until right now okay okay it smells really good i'm pleased to say that both of my dupes my perfume oil and my dossier fragrance smell like this they both smell like this. I feel like Ambery Cherry is the same scent, but like a percent more powdery. This just smells a little bit more happy. Just like a little, little, little bit. Not hardly noticeable, but 
that's what I'm getting from this initial spray initial sniff I like it I would rate this 9 out of 10 if you like cherry scents get you Tom Ford's Lost Cherry it's perfect for the fall I would recommend layering this with your cherry scents I would layer this with vanilla scents I would layer this with boozy scents like your Bath and Body Works Sweet Whiskey. This with like Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian will be fire. Like other deep boozy fall scents I feel like Lost Cherry would go well with. Y'all, it is a helicopter circling around this area. It's Baltimore, so if you know, you know. But uh, hopefully it is not messing up my sound. Thank God for this microphone. Next up is the Chronic. Not familiar with this fragrance, so I'm gonna have to do my research. But because I'm not familiar with it, that makes me even more excited to smell it. Like, why don't I know about this? Is this super exclusive? Like, why don't I know? This one's take good. Here we go. Going through the same thing. Ooh. This smells good. I kind of want to spray this on me to see what I'm getting. But I'm like, what am I smelling? This on the paper smells more spicy than it does on my hand. But again, I am wearing other fragrances, so it could be that. It's giving woody. It's giving sweeter on my hand. I'm going to stick to the paper because I don't want to give y'all a mixed skewed review first impression when I'm smelling a conjunction of fragrances on my hand. This is giving woody, slightly spicy, giving fall. I think it's giving more feminine, though it's woody and a little spicy, than masculine because it's not heavy. It's pleasant to my aroma. It's pleasant to my aroma. It's pleasant to my nose. I'm picking up on something, but not sure. I'm not a fragrance expert, y'all. And usually my nose can pick up stuff, but sometimes it cannot. Sometimes I'll be like, I don't know what I'm smelling. Not sure, but I like it. I say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. On my skin, I really like it too. But I'm not sure what I'm smelling on my skin. We have two more to go. We're going to do this one next. This is Jimmy Choo Illicit. I have heard of this fragrance. I've never smelled it. So I'm not super familiar with it, but I did look up the fragrance notes the other day and I honestly don't remember exactly what they are, but I'm like, I feel like this is going to be up my alley. Y'all, I'm so excited to wear these perfumes and I definitely can smell it in the air. I like this. Does this remind me of anything? Hmm. 
I don't know. I was about to say flower bomb, but it's not flower bomb. Like it's giving me a distant cousin, but I don't know. I really like this. I would say this 10 out of 10. I do think there's like a caramel note in here. It's creamy, but not too creamy. You smell it. It's warm. I like it. I really, really like this. Full size me with the Jimmy Choo Illicit. That's right up my alley. I think perfect for the fall and winter. But I think you could wear this whenever you want to wear it. Even in the warmer weather. Last but not least is Ambrosia Imperial by Navitus. I have heard of Navitus. I'm familiar with certain fragrances. I don't think that's going to focus, but um, I'm so excited. I've never smelled any of the Navitus fragrances. This is my first Ambrosia Imperial. Imperial. I'm excited. I don't know why I wanted to save this for last, but. Ooh. If our sniff is giving like fall, like holiday, the first notes that like went from my nose to my brain was like cinnamon and apple. It was giving like Bath and Body Works fall candles. It was giving like Pier One Imports in the fall. But as I sit, it's not super strong, but I still get it. I'm like, is it apple or is it like a pear? What is it? It's giving a little spicy. But it's not super heavy. And I like it. I would layer this with like Gentle Fluidity Gold or... This might be fire with like Killian's Princess. Casablanca would be fire with this. Casablanca would be fire with Jimmy Choo's Illicit, I think, as well. Now I gotta go look up these fragrances because I don't know what I'm smelling, but it smells really good. Miss Ambrosia Imperial. I like it. It smells expensive. Like, it doesn't smell like a perfume that everybody will wear, everybody will have is giving niche quality because it's very distinctive it smells unique it smells grown it smells elevated it smells refined like you have to have a a elevated palette for this fragrance and i like it because I like different fragrances. Like, I don't want to smell like everybody else. Hence why I'm really into layering combos. But I like this. I like warm, spicy, not too masculine, not too heavy. But it has some zing. I like this. I would rate it like 9.5 out of 10. I think it's good. I like it because it's different. Y'all, we got through all of the perfumes and I'm super thankful because y'all, I just, I just got all these perfumes to add to my collection, y'all, like, and it's not even all of them. I'm not about to move this box that I had my phone sitting up on, but that has the Jo Malone fragrances and whatnot. 
I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Crystal. Like, I'm so, 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 so appreciative. And it was so thoughtful of you because you did not have to do that. And just for you to think about me out of everybody else, it made me feel so special. And it's stuff like that that really keeps me going with um, my YouTube channel because some days I don't get discouraged, but sometimes it's hard. Like, sometimes I'm like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? And I do think it is because there's growth. It's gradual growth. I enjoy doing this. Like, I don't do this for the money. I don't do it. Um, I do it because I like it. That's all I'm trying to say. I really enjoy it. I enjoy engaging with y'all. I enjoy fragrance. I enjoy talking about it, even though I'm not an expert. I have to shout out my girl, Smelly B. I always love her intros. She always says... You know, I'm not a fragrance expert. I am not claiming to be and I'm not training to be. And that's me. I've never claimed to be an expert, but I love it. Like, this is like art to me. Fragrance is art. It's fashion. It's beauty because it's like once you get dressed, what do you add on top of that? Your fragrance. <laughs> okay. It just makes me feel good. It uplifts me. And I love talking to y'all because it obviously does the same thing for y'all. So thank y'all so much for supporting me again. Thank you so much, Crystal. You warm my heart. And I can't say thank you enough. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love y'all so, so, so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances, what you think about them, are any of them your favorite. Y'all can even drop fire layering combos y'all like with the fragrances that I just received. Let me know. I am so interested. Please share this video with anybody that you know that might be a fragrance lover. Y'all can give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It helps my algorithm. It helps me grow. Even though, you know, I'm not even pressed to grow that much because I just love y'all so much. And it's not about the numbers for me. It's about the family, my family and friends, my glow getters, okay? Also, if you made it to the end of this video and you aren't a current subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I just said it's not about the numbers, but if you engage with my content and you like it, why not stay around? Also, you can hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss it. Again, 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 again. I can't say it enough. Thank y'all so much for watching and I love you guys.